what's up guys welcome to a brand new video in today's video we're going to be talking about how to add a custom domain to your netlify website in under four minutes so without further ado let's jump right onto the video Alright, so uh, over on Netlify right now, so for those of you who don't know what Netlify is, it's basically a hosting platform that provides free um, hosting and free domain services. So for you, if you're just great, if you're new here, you can easily sign up, but for me, I already have an account, so I'm going to log in real quick. Alright, so now the next thing we're going to do is to head over to sites and we're going to add a new site. So click add a new site and the good thing about um, Netlify is you can link your Netlify account to your GitHub account. So whenever you push um, a project from GitHub to Netlify and you modify um, the project from GitHub, it automatically modifies on um, the site also. So I'm going to be deploying manually for this tutorial. So click deploy manually and I'm going to drag and drop the folder right here. So drag and drop this folder here and it's going to take some seconds to upload. All right, so now it's successfully uploaded and when you click the link right now, you can see that the website is going to be available online. So yeah, so here's the website. All right, so, but this is not what we're after. What we're after is to um, make this domain a custom domain. So let's head over to domain settings and you want to click on add um, domain. So now um, the name of the domain is code my hobby .com and click verify. I'm going to click add domain. Alright, so now the next thing we're going to do is to head over to um, the place where I got this custom domain from, which is um, Namecheap. Right, so we are over at Namecheap and the first thing you need to do is to create an account if you don't already have one. So for me, I'm going to sign in. Okay. And now I'm going to go to my domain list. And as you can see here, I do have um, code my hobby. Next thing we're going to click on is manage. And as you can see right here on the name server, it's basically on Namecheap um, basic DNS. So now the next thing we're going to do is to add a custom DNS to this, which is um, the DNS provided by Netlify. So click on custom DNS. So um, we're going to click on options right here and we're going to click on set up Netlify DNS. And we're going to click verify, add domain. continue and we're going to copy this um this name servers right here so copy this and we're going to paste it over here so paste the first one here and we're going to copy sorry we're going to copy the second one and paste it i'm just going to close this tab paste it right here um we're going to add a new name server and we're going to grab the third one Copy it and you paste it right here. And lastly, grab the last and paste it right here. Once you're done, you're going to click on this check mark, save. All right, so now the custom DNS has been added to um, the website and you can see right here that it says, DNS server updates may take up to 48 hours to take effect. So now let's head back to um, Netlify and click on done. And so now we just have to give this some um, minutes to um, verify that um, we've successfully added the custom DNS. So now you can click on the link to see if it's going to work. All right, so now you can see that the site is successfully um, online right now and you can see that it has the custom domain name which is called myhobby.com but right now the ssl certificate hasn't been added to the website so we're going to give this some time and we're going to check back and reload the websites and hopefully um the ssl certificate should be on the website all right so we're back on the site and you can see right here it says your site has https enabled so now when we go back to um the link right here 
and click the link and you can see right now that it has this locked sign which means HTTPS has been enabled. So basically that's how you can link a custom domain to your Netlify um, website completely for free. So yeah, if you did enjoy this video, make sure you drop a like, subscribe if you haven't subscribed, turn on your post notifications and I'll see you in another video. Thank you.